Hello again and welcome. It's me and me you know. It's Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State, Florida. Always good to be with you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are, all the best. It's always food for thought, which I'm sure by this time all of you know. And today the food for thought has to do with leadership qualities and quotes that are made specifically by women. Because for me, my friend, and hopefully for you, it is all about empowering women. Empowerment for women is for me in the forefront of any and every and all things that we do today. And some of our leading women in the corporate world, in the business world, have who have made their way, it's important that they in turn look back, look to their right, to their left, in their circles, and bring others along with them. Because a truly empowered woman, this is what she does. We have many women in corporate America today, and they are paving the way and bringing along with them many other women to be able to have and be able to do the things that they're doing, but having and adding their own creative flavor and their taste and their style. There are many, many quotes, leading quotes that are made by women. And one of my favorite, and I want to make sure that I get this right, because you've heard the expression, you can have everything that you want. Everything is possible for you. But the kicker that they didn't put on to that saying, my friend, is not at the same time. Because if you have a marriage, a household, family, kids, a business, relatives, and all of the other things that go into leading and making a healthy, good lifestyle, you do them a little bit at a time. You have a good marriage and a supportive husband or wife. You have kids and they're young, they're babies, they're teenagers. Each and every step you take in stride. So you can have everything, everything that you want and desire in life, but not all at the same time. And don't let anybody, and I don't have to say this, but I'm saying it anyway, don't let anybody tell you that it's possible. It just isn't. But one of my favorites, and I want to read this because it's funny. Uh, this is a chairwoman of CEO uh, of IBM. Uh, Gina Rometti, I think, is how you pronounce her name. And she said, be first and be lonely. Now, that's very impactful. It's very heavy duty, too. Be first and be lonely. What does that say to you? Not going to try and interpret it for you. I think it's clear what it means, whatever stage you're at. If you're beginning the middle of the end and you're starting and building something, be first and be lonely. You can have it all, but not all at the same time. So look to the leadership quotes that I have written in this blog today for you, all by women and a diverse and varied one and the same, but you'll get the gist of it. So until the next time, do be well. Look after each other. Take care of yourself first and then each other. And know that I'll be back with you again soon. Until that time, be well, my friend, and take care. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.